Lemmy's World of Glasgow Jacqueline McCafferty I lost three years of my life on heroin and all five years on a methadone program which meant to get us off it. I got my wee daughter to take Navis and only just got her back six months ago and I'll tell you something, I'm spoiling that wee lassie every opportunity I get. I'm going to make sure that she gets a family that she never got right. So I took her up to Rasda to get her photo taken in one of the studios. You know all the green stuff and they can put in any background they want. I thought I want to get a nice fucking family photo with me and my daughter. A good fucking happy family because that's me chuck that shit. That's me chuck that shit for good. I phoned him. I said, listen, I want a lovely wee photo. I just want one of me and my daughter and I want a wee background scene like we're on holiday somewhere. Somewhere lovely. Can you do that? He says, we can do it. And I says, so can you make it look like we're on holiday? We've got like the sun and the sea and the sand and all that in the background. He's like, we can do anything. I was like, excellent. I says, right, can I book it for a couple of days time? And I'm like, right, that's perfect. Made my way down there with my daughter. Met up with them lovely people and I just told them again, made sure they knew. I says, right, so I want the holiday background and all that, right? Because the thing is, you know, we've never had a fucking holiday. I'm not trying to make out any cunt that we did go on holiday. I fucked up. I fucked up big style, right? But I just want a wee photo up in the wall of me and my fucking daughter looking as if, at least looking as if we went on a holiday just once. They just went like, right, take a seat here, just get comfortable, take your jackets off, just lie down there. Just lie down there next to the green screen and all that, right? I'm like, right, cool. The thing is, right, the studio's right next to the checkout and all that, right? Anybody walking past with a trolley's not that can have a wee look in and all that, just see what he's are doing. I don't mind. I'm proud as fuck that I've got a beautiful wee daughter and she's back with us. And half of these cunts couldn't fucking afford to get these photos. So I don't give a fuck if they're staring trying to look down their fucking noses at us, right? I know I'm better than them. So we're lying down there next to the green screen and all that, and we're kind of getting comfortable and the guy's like, oh, can you just lie down there and all just put your arm around your daughter, nice big smiles and all that. Never even got the fucking chance to do that, right? Security guard walks past the studio, has a wee look in, spots me, heads towards us, he's like, oh, McCafferty, Jacqueline McCafferty. I went, aye, what? He's like, you're bad. I'm like, is this a fucking wind-up? He's like, you're barred from a supermarket for shoplifting and you know that, Jacqueline. I'm like, I don't know fuck all. Is this a joke? My daughter's starting to look pure embarrassed because all these cunts are looking there seeing what all the commotion is, isn't it? He's like, security guards like that. There's a court order that says that you are barred from a superstore for shoplifting. I was like, it's no me, mate. I don't care what you say. It's no me. He's like, I'm not even going to get into this discussion. I know your face. Your name's Jacqueline McCaffrey, and I'm no surprised you don't remember the state you were in in court. I just thought to myself, I don't remember it. I don't remember shoplifting. I barely remember coming in here. But I must have. I just didn't know what to do. I was like, look, gonna give a fucking break, mate. I'm clean. All right, I'm fucking clean. I've paid for this fucking studio time here. I want to just get my 40 with my fucking daughter. Look, can I not just get a 40 with my fucking daughter? I'm clean. Security guards like that, right, get your photograph taken and then get out of here. In front of my daughter, man, in front of my fucking daughter, my past sins catching up with me and getting put onto my fucking daughter, man. The cunt was fucking merciless. The studio guy's like that, right, get settled back in, he's like, right, pick up where we left off then. Just put your arm around your daughter and all that, right. Didn't matter how much he said smile, every fucking photo he took, he was like, right, come on, surely you can do better than that, come on, let's give us a big smile on it. I had a, a de pure to a fucking fake smile and my wee daughter's going like ah, I don't like this anymore. I says, I know, I know, Hen, I'm sorry, Hen, Gonny, please, we'll just get this photo and we'll go up the road. Go to the photo to it and go to the print to do it, man. Go to put a nice fucking frame and everything, 40 quid it skinned us. Security guard walked us right out of the place like we're fucking criminals. Stood outside the place watching us going to the fucking motor. As if we're going to try and fucking sneak back in. Couldn't bring myself to fucking look at the photo or even let my daughter look at the photo until I got up the road. Pulled it out the wee sleeve. Had a look at it. Had a good look at the fucking faces. Perry's with a couple of fucking fake smiles on us. I looked at my fucking daughter's eyes and you could see she wasn't even quite looking at the camera. Just a tiny wee amount looking to the side. And I just remembered that's where the fucking security guard was standing. Instead of looking at the camera and this lovely wee fucking photo in holiday. There she is. 
forever looking at this fucking security guard. My past will not let me get away from it. I showed my daughter it, I says, right, so what do you want to do? Do you want to just stick it in the bin? She's like, no mummy, why? Please, I love the photograph. She couldn't see what I seen. And I said, alright, then I'll put it up. Haven't they put this photo on the wall? It's just going to be there forever. Always looking back at it, with a couple of fucking fake smiles. And my daughter forever no looking at me, but looking at a security guard just off the camera. It'll never let me go.